Project Brutality 3.0. If uh, you, like me, are a big fan of Doom, the original one that is, then you probably want to have a shot of Project Brutality, which itself is an offshoot of Brutal Doom. Um, and this this here, playing this is I'm Corn Holio's uh, YouTube channel, uh, channel, and he's done a little uh, demo of um, Project Brutality 3.0. And you can see why they call it Brutality, because there's just gibs everywhere. <laughs> But I thought, cool, I've got, to have, I've got to have a shot at this. Um, and uh, I went over to see if I could download it. And look, I, I managed to download it easy enough, but I thought it's a, bit, it's a bit finicky. So I thought here, I'll very quickly show you how to download the game and um, what you're going to need to do. There's three separate things you're going to need to do. So here we go. Number one, what you need to do is go over to ZDoom if you haven't already and got, get a copy of that. So just grab that. Okay, so once you've started the download for GZ Doom, then you need to get yourself a Doom WAD. Now, you may again already have a Doom WAD, and you can use the Doom 1 WAD, you can use Doom 2, uh, you can use a few other WAD files as well, I think, but you cannot use the free shareware version of the original Doom 1 WAD. WAD, so it's called doom1.wad. That, that WAD file won't work for you. So if you search doom1 WAD download full version on Google, I found that the second link, uh, which points to the Internet Archive, yay Internet Archive, um, it has a download in there and you can get to that by showing all files and um, doom.wad is right there. So again, just stick that in the same folder that GZ Doom's in. And then finally, we go over to Project Brutality's GitHub account, and you can see this uh, This is all the files here, and you're like, oh, what the heck? So what you do is you go up here to Code, you go Download Zip, and again, stuff that in the same folder. And now, with any luck, I have three files in there. One of them is GZ Doom itself, the other is the Doom WAD, and finally Project Brutality's zip file itself. Okay, so first things first, let's unzip the GZ Doom and we'll pop it into the default folder that it suggests here. popped up there. I'm going to move Doom Wad in there. And before I deal with Project Brutality, I'm going to just fire up GZ Doom and make sure it works. And it might I think it makes some config files and stuff like that. So that works fine. I'll just cut out of there. Of course, I should say that you require a copy of an a legitimate copy of Doom on your machine or on the floppy disks or CD-ROM or something, you need to have purchased it from somewhere. And you can still purchase it. If you don't have the floppy disks or the CD-ROM or anything like that, you can still purchase it on Steam. So make sure you have the le legitimate copy, right? Um, okay, so it works. Now all I need to do is bring over Project Brutality Master. So I'll bring that over into this folder. So now it's here. I can close down this. And literally, to start up Project Brutality, all I need to do now is just drag and drop onto GZ Doom. <laughs> I suck. 
Well, there you go. That's how to download and play Project Brutality 3.0. It's still in active development, and that's why I guess it's a bit cagey like it is. Uh, I hope this has helped you. Uh, if you like it, please press the thumbs up. And also, if you like my channel uh, or want to see more, then please consider pressing that subscribe button. Until next time, thank you very much. You've been watching Al's Geek Lab. Bye.